A Hadashot TV news report Sunday night has just revealed that not one but three delegations of local Iraqi leaders have made secret trips to Israel over the past few months. The 15 or so delegates met with Israeli academic and government leaders, visited the Yad Vashem Holocaust Memorial, and more, all while Iraq and Israel are still technically at war with one another. Well, joining us now with more on the topic is Dr. Martin Sherman, the founder and executive director of the Israel Institute for Strategic Studies. Dr. Sherman, as always, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me again. Okay, so first of all, you know, what, what do you think these meetings mean for Israeli-Iraqi relations? Do you think that maybe we could end the war between us? Well, you know, it's probably quite a surprising uh, announcement to learn about these frequent visits. Uh, I, I hope I'm not being overly skeptical about uh, the ability of Israel to develop ongoing relations with uh, the Arab countries. Um, I must remember that uh, Israel and Iraq have a very unhappy history. Um, Iraq has participated in several wars against Israel. Uh, it supports the boycott, the Arab League boycott against Israel. Israeli passports are not recognized by Iraq. Um, and I, I'm not quite sure what the public sentiment there is. You, you know, it wasn't long ago that uh, Saddam Hussein was uh, in power there and, and firing rockets onto Israeli cities. So uh, I would say that the, that the jury is still out on, on, this, uh, on this issue. I think perhaps one of the interesting elements is that it, it seems to undermine prevailing wisdom that uh, um, developing relations with the Arab world is dependent on a breakthrough with the Palestinian issue. This seems to be a, a thesis that is becoming less and less valid and the Palestinian issue is being sidelined uh, not only by much of Israeli politics, but uh, by uh, uh, many countries in the Arab world who seem to, at least on the surface, seem to be exploring developing ties with Israel, despite the lack of any progress, in fact, perhaps even some regression on, on the Palestinian front. I see. All right. So. Now, I, I want to take maybe a more cynical approach then, because you said, you know, maybe you're cynical, maybe you're an optimist. Uh, so, as a cynic, you know, what do you, what do you think Iraq wants out of this relationship, and what do you think Israel is going to get? What do you think Israel wants out of this relationship? Well, yeah, I, I think, you know, on, on the, the answer to that is more or less what you see on the surface. I'm sure uh, Iraq, as Netanyahu said recently, the Arab world uh, could make good use of Israeli technology in the water, energy, communications, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But on the other hand, you, you know, uh, I mean, there's a lot of technology they can buy without going to Israel. It's not that you know the United States and Europe and right. Scandinavia and, and, and Canada and places like that can't supply a great deal of technology. So you know, there, there's still question marks. You know, why, why do they need Israel? I, I'm, I'm as, as I say, you know, I'm. I would be very wary about putting too much trust in these relationships at the moment until uh, we have greater proof that uh, animosity is beginning to die down, not only among the, the uh, political leaders, but among the, the public as well. So any change in sentiment uh, would seem to be uh, more durable, because as you've seen in the Arab world, you know, things can turn on a dime within a second. I don't think many people many, uh, a few years ago would have predicted the situation in a number of Arab countries, you know, like Syria, Yemen, Libya, uh, and you never know. All, all these countries, all these countries that are are candidates for approaching Israel, not necessarily Iraq, but many in the Gulf countries, these are are so, to put it politely, these are these already anachronistic regimes because you know, they they uh, well, based. Well, well, I'm for, I, I hate to cut you off, but unfortunately, we. we do have to, to end it here. Um, but yeah, I want to thank you for, for sharing your insights again, as always. Uh, and on that note, again, you know, we ha we'll have to keep in mind a lot of the things going forward with Iraq, uh, as you said. Uh, there are a lot of things, a lot of interests, as always, that they have privately and publicly, and, and we really don't know publicly what they want. So we'll keep an eye on this. And Dr. Sherman, we hope to have you back uh, when more information is, is out. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation.